we're going to take a look at the series, the summation from 1 to infinity of 2 divided by n cubed plus 3n squared plus 2n. We want to know if this series converges or diverges, and if it converges, what is its sum? So first, we're going to factor the denominator in each term. This becomes 2 divided by, we can factor n, so this is n times n squared plus 3n plus 2, and then we can further factor n squared plus 3n plus 2, so this is the summation from 1 to infinity, 2 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. Let's try using test for divergence. We take the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 divided by n cubed plus 3n squared plus 2n and this limit is 0. That means the test for divergence is inconclusive. This clearly is not a geometric series so we have to go back to the definition of the series in order to solve this problem. So we start with a sequence. We call it a sub n. We can start anywhere. Let's start at 1 to infinity. We then add up all the terms in the sequence. So this looks like this, the summation n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n. So this is a1 plus a2 plus so on forever. And the way we define this infinite sum is we form another sequence. We call it s sub n. We'll use capital N instead. That's the sequence of nth partial sums. This is from 1 to infinity. And Sn is equal to the summation small n equals 1 to capital N of a sub n. So this is a1 plus a2 all the way up to a sub n. Now the series then is defined. So summation from 1 to infinity a sub n is defined by the limit as big N goes to infinity of the sequence of nth partial sums. If this limit exists, then we say the series converges to whatever that limit is. If the limit doesn't exist, we say the series diverges. Now, in practice, it's very difficult for most cases to find a closed formula, closed form for Sn so we can evaluate the limit. But in this case, uh, we can do it because we have, we're working with what's called a telescoping series where a lot of the middle terms will cancel. We'll be left with just a few terms in terms of n and we can evaluate it. So to do it, we have to go back and use a technique we used before called the method of partial fraction. What we're going to do is we're going to break down this rational function 2 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 into three simpler rational functions a over n plus b over n plus 1 plus c over n plus 2. And that's because the denominator is a product of three distinct linear terms. Multiplying both sides by the denominator on the left, we end up with 2 equals to a times n plus 1 times n plus 2 plus b times n times n plus 2 plus c times n times n plus 1. And now let's plug in 0 for n, then minus 1 for n, and then minus 2 for n. That will give us a, b, and c. So n equals 0 gives us 2 equals to uh, 2a, which means that a is 1. Plugging in minus 1 for n, we have 2 is equal to minus b, so b equals minus 2, and plugging in minus 2 for n gives us 2 is equal to 2 times c, so c is equal to 1. And now we can express our series in the following way, so the summation from 1 to infinity, 2 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2, is equal to the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 over n minus 2 divided by n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2. And before we can find Sn, let's rewrite this as the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 
plus 1 over n plus 2. And let's write this as a pair of infinite series. So the first one will be the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1, plus the summation from 1 to infinity, minus 1 over n plus 1, plus 1 over n plus 2. And let's rewrite it just one more time, and then we'll be able to finish the problem. So this is equal to the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1, minus the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2. So now we are ready to find a formula for Sn. We can just do one Sn for both both of these series. Here's what Sn equals to for the first series. This is 1 minus a half plus 1 half minus a third plus 1 third minus a fourth plus keep going until let n be little n be capital N minus 1. So this is 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n and then plus 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. And so now minus for the second series we do the same thing when n equals little n equals 1 we have a half minus a third plus 1 third minus a fourth plus 1 fourth minus 1 fifth and so on until we have n minus 1 so this is 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 and then plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2 and look what happens a lot of because this is a telescoping series a lot of the terms in the middle all of them cancel so here this cancels with the term before that minus 1 over n plus 1 over n here this cancels minus 1 over n plus 1 cancels with 1 over n plus 1 what we have left in the first series is 1 minus 1 divided by n plus 1 and then minus 1 half minus 1 divided by n plus 2 which simplifies to 1 half minus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 divided by n plus 2 and that's Sn and we are now ready to finish this problem to find the solution so the series that we started with which was summation from 1 to infinity of 2 over n cubed plus 3n squared plus 2n is equal to the summation from 1 to infinity of 2 divided by n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 is now by definition the limit as capital N goes to infinity of 1 half minus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2. The last two terms go to 0 as n goes to infinity and our answer is 1 half. The series converges to 1 half. For more videos, visit www.mathprepvideos.com.